Welcome to the world of scale modeling with Mike Ashey, where techniques, tips, and creativity come alive with dozens of tutorials, projects, tape-up reviews, and picture references to help you build better scale models and enjoy our wonderful hobby. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Episode 8 of Building and Detailing the Monogram Ravel 148 scale B25J. In my previous videos, I used all still photography. So what I'm going to try this time is an actual uh, video demonstration of what I've done to this aircraft. So uh, I've got all the interior parts installed, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the fuselage halves apart and give you a tour of the interior and what I've done. So. The first thing I did on both port and starboard side was I attached all of the instrumentation that needed to go inside of the console area where the cockpit is located. Then I positioned the uh, Bombay subassembly in place. I closed up the fuselage and then what I did was I attached, I put a tiny drop of super glue in this location and in this location here and uh, allowed it to dry. Then I pulled the fuselage apart and ran super glue along this side of the bulkhead and on this aft side of the bulkhead to get a really strong bond. In the aft part of the fuselage I attached all of the gunner, the rear gunner's position parts in place. However, I did not glue the twin 50 caliber machine gun in place. First what I did was I temporarily taped in place this canvas cover and you have to make sure that these uh, uh, these holes are pointed up otherwise the gun barrels if you reverse it the gun barrels would be pointed down and look kind of funny so once this was properly positioned then I put a tiny bit of super glue here and here to secure it in place. Then I attached this rear four floor plate that uh, I made, uh, and I actually used the Edward uh, interior detail set as a, uh, as a guide and cut this out of 0 .0, 0.040 inch plastic, and then uh, painted it and weathered it and put it in place. And you can see there's little flaws over here, but once the fuselage is closed up, and the aft uh, rudder assembly is put in place, you're only going to see about that much, so none of this will, will be even noticeable. I'll talk about how I attached the bomb racks, uh, which I did last. On the port side, uh, I followed the same procedure, and I first I glued all of the instrumentation in place on the port side wall, then I positioned the uh, the subassembly for the cockpit in place just to check it first and I closed it up and what I, what I discovered was there's a little bit of play in this so to compensate for that uh, I pulled the subassembly back out and I ran a bead of testers red tube glue right along this area right here and then repositioned it closed up the fuselage and that allowed me about 30 seconds of working time to make some adjustments before the glue set. And it's really, really important for that, that piece right there to be set correctly, otherwise the uh, subassembly will have a, a slight skew to it. So be very, very careful when you install this. And of course after the tester's glue was dried, I doubled it up with a bead of super glue here and over here and a little bit up front here and here so that it was, a, it was a really, really strong bond. It's very important that, the, that this forward landing gear uh, have a very strong bond with this sub-assembly for the cockpit because all of the weight that you're going to have to add uh, in, in front of this area here to get the tricycle landing gear of this aircraft to sit correctly is going to be taken up by this piece of plastic right here. So uh, I ran a bead of super glue along here after I scraped off the paint and uh, the capillary action of the super glue gave me a real strong bond. Uh, over here, the positioning pin didn't quite sit into the positioning hole correctly. So what I had to do was cut off the pin and uh, it, it got kind of sloppy. But once this is closed up, you're not gonna see any of this. The only thing you're gonna see is this landing gear right here, a little bit of whatever's going to be sticking out, and then the support brace right here. 
And then what I did was uh, I installed the double bomb rack first with the fuselage open and that allowed me to properly position the top parts of the racks onto the slight indentations down here. And then to install the single bomb rack, what I did was I closed up the fuselage almost all the way. I dropped down that single bomb rack and carefully positioned it in place so that the ladders, the top part of the ladders of the uh, bomb rack sit in those depressions and then I took this needle wire applicator for super glue and um, I had a puddle of super glue and then carefully got down in there and put tiny drops of super glue in place. So that gave me about 10 seconds of working time to properly position it. So <clears throat> it all worked out real well. The reason why I did that is if you close up the fuselage, glue it in place and then install these bomb racks and then install the bombs themselves, it's a very difficult process because you don't have a lot of space to work with. So, uh, and, and it's really hard to get these bombs to sit correctly on the, on the rack pins. So this process worked out really, really well. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is stop the camera and uh, we'll go ahead and, and get the fuselage halves set up for gluing. And what I'm gonna use is this uh, Zappagap medium viscosity super glue. I use this glue for, exclusively for almost all my model builds because it has great capillary action and it will, when you run a bead of super glue along this seam line, the super glue will seep, seep down in between uh, the seam areas and this entire gluing surface will get covered with super glue and it'll be a really strong bond. So, just give me a minute, let me get set up and I'll be back with you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. And when you get the chance, visit our website at www.mikeashy.com where you're going to find dozens of free PDF downloads including tutorials, picture references, model galleries, projects, and my five original scale modeling books. Thanks to Ben Sound and Vidivo for the royalty-free music and happy scale modeling.